Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the Mercedes brake lines, uh, Mercedes hard steel brake lines. Um, so what you want to do first is you want to make sure and double check your brake lines. Go underneath and check to make sure that your brake lines are good because in a lot of these cars, uh, so this is an old Benz, but um, it happens like if you live somewhere and, and if you drive through winters and salty roads all the time, you want to check your hard brake lines because you don't want to risk them breaking or start leaking then that, that can end up like pretty bad so that's what i'm doing today i'm going to be replacing the brake lines on this old school, old school bend and uh, i'll show you uh the condition actually you can probably see right now the condition of these uh brake uh, brake lines they're pretty bad and actually next to those brake lines um is fuel lines actually are also bad but today i'm going to focus on the brake lines and i'll replace the brake lines on this car um and i'll show you the process how to do it and yeah just stay tuned guys all right guys so there's three methods how you can replace your brake lines so first method is you can go to the dealership and buy the whole line like you can see right here you can buy the whole thing the whole assembly already pre-bent but a long story short like when you go to the dealership and you order that long line that goes from the front to the rear wheels uh, they will give you just a roll of brake line uh, so then that means you will have to actually like bend it prevent it yourself and you will have to uh, actually use a flaring kit uh, which I'll show you later is that there's a flaring kit that you actually have to use to you know um, connect it and make uh, basically so that way you can uh, uh, you know connect it to your proportioning valve or your master cylinder blah 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 um, and then there's a second method is you can go to the store and you can buy um, sections of brake lines and uh, you can just basically like run them from your master cylinder to uh, the rear wheels and that way it's just gonna be uh, it's gonna work out that the only thing is you will have to buy a lot of different lengths of those uh, so I'll show you this is actually the second method and I'll be using the second method today uh, on this car uh, and the third final method is uh, you can see you can find and locate on your car wherever you know the rust actually ends so there would be like a section of a brake line in the front usually from the master cylinder that actually like doesn't leak anymore or that doesn't is not rusty so that's the section that you're gonna cut off and um, then you, you will have to actually use that flaring kit again to make a bubble flare uh, and connect your brand new brake line and you know lead it all the way to the back um, so yeah that's kind of what it is and anyways I'm gonna start working on it right now I already removed the rear wheel and everything the, the whole car is jacked up guys and I used my personal method is I use you know if I'm jacking this side up I use two jack stands and I use a secondary uh, safety protection which is I use uh, two jacks as well and the wheel um, so yeah you want to make sure you have a lot of protection when you work under the car so yeah anyways let's get back to business all right guys so i sprayed some pv blaster on that thing and i'm letting it soak i'm about to loosen it up I'm gonna start from this rear, right where the differential is. I'm gonna start removing this line. As soon as it's off, I'm gonna work my way towards the front. There's some retainers that I have to take off, which is uh, 10 millimeter right there. Uh, so that will be removed. But just be careful uh, because if your fuel lines like mine are rusty, uh, any movement will can cause them uh, to leak. Or to start leaking so just be very careful and today I'm only replacing the brake lines I, I can't uh, you know um, I don't have the uh, fuel lines with me so I'll have to order new fuel lines but today I want to replace the brake lines that's more important than the fuel lines remember to use to always use the line wrench uh, when working with uh, hard brake lines or brake hoses so my line is pretty rusty so when i try to move this thing the whole assembly moves along with that uh a valve right there so what i did is i put the pry bar 
I put the pry bar right there. All right. So that way it kind of counter holds it and it doesn't let the whole assembly move. Now this is loose, but then I have to basically massage it. I have to go back and forth with it. Okay. Just to make sure because sometimes the nut will go and uh, it will spin with the line, which you don't want that. And as you can see, the reason the reason why this whole line is wet is because I put a lot of wheel bearing grease here so it doesn't keep corroding. All right, a closer look for you guys. So the size of line wrenches are can be different. So uh, some of these are 11 mil millimeter and some of them are actually like standard wrenches 716s that actually works pretty well. It's not as loose as uh, it's not as loose as 11 millimeter wrench. So uh, just see what works the best, you know, but just make sure you have a, a set of line wrenches. Alright, this is loose. The only thing I have left is that side. Loosen that up. And these bolts are rusty, so you have to kind of be patient and get your line wrench on there. And like always guys, whenever I do something, it starts raining. Typical Washington state. But anyways, I'm gonna keep going. I need to replace these brake lines today. All right guys, so we have this line, this brake line that goes from the front to the back, all loosened up. There's retainers right there. It basically looks like this. All right, so it just goes on like so. 10 millimeter bolt, you remove it, and then you just loosen it up. All right, so I brought this new line in here already, and I'm gonna disconnect this guy and reconnect this line really quick. And this old line is actually like pretty much loose from all its retainers. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably cut that somewhere in the middle. Uh, here's the new line. This is the old line and it's already loose. All right, the hardest part is right there, disconnected from that part right there. So. All right guys, I cut this line off. Now I'm gonna remove this old line out of the way. So this is the old line um, and it's actually pretty crusty uh, so it was about that time to replace it so you guys make sure you check your uh, brake lines and replace them. See how rusty it is there. Okay. Another tip I'm going to give you is after you install the brand new lines uh, you can actually paint them and you can spray some um, basically fluid film where you can spray something that's going to protect them uh, in the future it will never never rust in my case what I'm going to do is I'm going to use wheel bearing grease I'm going to uh, literally I'm going to smear the wheel bearing grease on the brake lines and they will never rust all right guys this is what we have we have a, a brake line all right but as you can see I cut it off with the side cutters um, and this line is gonna go onto my car underneath and it's gonna connect the rear section and I'm gonna make a connection right there in the front so for that I'm gonna show you actually right now how to flare it how to make a bubble flare uh, so you're gonna use this toolkit right here I'm gonna use a, a cutter a tubing cutter which is really important you need to use that have that and you're gonna use the flaring kit, all right? All right guys, so this is the standard flaring kit and as you can see, this is a Mercedes. Uh, so a lot of people actually get confused on uh, what kind of uh, flaring kit to use is actually, so since this is a European vehicle, I mean, you can use uh, a metric flaring kit, but you can also use a standard flaring kit, this, which is, this is what it is because um, this brake line right here is actually uh, the size of it is 
4.75 millimeter which is equivalent to 3 sixteenths so that's why you basically you can interchange and you can actually use uh, a standard flaring kit uh, for that uh, for this brake line because it's pretty much the same size uh, so in this case like I said you can use a standard um, flaring kit and you can even use a standard brake brake line which is this is what it is standard standard brake line 316s on uh, a Mercedes but uh, you want to make sure that you actually flare it uh, and we you use a double uh, I'm sorry use the bubble flare uh, because this is a European car uh, so you want to use a, a bubble flare so I'm going to show it to you right now and how it's done and I'm going to show you how uh, to use this um, tubing cutter so let's go all right guys so this is your tubing cutter the reason why you want to use the tubing cutter is because it's going to cut it really nice and straight all the way around which is what you want this is basically preparing uh, this line to be uh, flared uh, so as you can see i have it installed it's pretty simple it's just the line goes in the middle right there um, and then you tighten this knob okay until it's uh, tight and then you just basically start turning it okay start turning this thing okay all the way around nicely and then you just occasionally you tighten it up because it's gonna get looser as you cutting it tighten more guys so here's a look at our line okay you can see it's nice and straight right there all right this is what you want the other end looks the same all right guys so this is the bubble flare this is what we're trying to achieve right now okay so this line before you do anything you want to install a nut on it okay so we're going to install the nut or the bolt i should say okay it's going to be right here and then we can go ahead and flare it so if you look at this it has you know different sizes and stuff so we're worried uh, we're going to focus on this 316s because this line it's 316 so we're gonna install the line right in there okay now once so you have the line installed just gonna go ahead and tighten this as much as possible it's really important to tighten it really hard so it doesn't come undone both sides okay right. next step is we're going to grab our 316s uh, I forgot actually how this is called but what's it called but this is what you want to use you're gonna put it like so Then you're gonna grab your final part, which is this. You're gonna get ready to tighten this. I'll show you in a second. Before you torque it down, you're gonna make sure that this is in the center and it's as straight as possible. Eventually, when you run this down it's gonna be flush right there so now you can undo it all right so this is the bubble flare that you're supposed to get at the end after you flare it guys so here we have brake line here's one junction a union and it goes all the way there all right 
that guys the brake lines are replaced we're about to bleed this thing uh, i already opened the bleeder screw on that caliper so it's just doing like a gravity bleeding um and yeah afterwards i already added a uh, new fluid to it and we're gonna check for leaks um hopefully everything is good um sorry i haven't really filmed much i was really busy I was trying to fi finish this stuff but it's pretty straightforward um and uh yeah just make sure you check your brake lines if they're rusty uh replace them really important By the way, I also started working on the body right here. It's all soaking in a rust dissolver. There's a hole right there. <laughs> so, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited for the body work on this car. Mm, I really used to like not like body work, but I think right now it's going to be fun. Uh, you know, like it's just a great feeling restoring an old car that needs work and body work and all the other stuff. And it just feels great when you like make it better isn't it the same with you guys yeah so sorry for my face by the way i don't know how i look but that was a it was a busy day today with all these brake lines and stuff so yeah pump it all right hold it wow there was a lot of air in there okay pump it Right, hold it. Okay, I'm gonna check the fluid level. How does it feel? Pump it. Is it closed? Yeah. Mm, yeah. A little bit spongy. Okay. Just release. Yeah, it's all the way up. Okay. Now. You're gonna press all the way to the floor and hold. Yeah, like that. Pump it. Okay, release. Push all the way to the floor and hold. All right. All right, guys. So. We bled the brakes, everything is good. Uh, I replaced this line. It was actually a pain to replace the rear section and the, on the, the one that goes above the, the subframe, but we did it. Right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray these brake lines with paint so they will never rust afterwards. I'll actually probably coat them with some grease. And keep in mind, all these lines are tight and not loose. Everything is good. And uh, yes, I do have two of these unions right there, but it's fine, guys. Uh, it's actually, I believe it's allowed. Uh, you can have at least like maximum two of these uh, uh, unions uh, across your brake system. And... Uh, that's what we have today. It's fine. Everything works. No leaks. I'm about to take it on the test drive. Make sure everything is good. But uh, when you replace the brake lines, you got to make sure that uh, they go back to their spots everywhere. And you have to make sure that they're not touching the body. They're not touching any other lines um, or anything else. Um, you want to make sure that... There's space between the line and uh, the body and other lines as well. You don't want those things to rub against each other and cause any future problems. All right, guys, we painted the brake lines. This will ensure that they will never rust again and they will be all protected. So I'm pretty excited, guys. Awesome. And there you guys have it. It's some painted uh, lines, 
looks great.